everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. The opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. Targeting a left hand down low. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power is not going away. I'm still going to be okay. What an impactful oh, left hand by Big Train. Finish him off. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch that he needed very badly. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Well targeted two punch combo by Briggs. Halfway through this round. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Big Drake's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Good uppercut by Briggs. Well played, straight right hand. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Briggs is stunned. Wow, both guys have gotten to the other here. Oh, that's got to hurt. The cannon is down. First knockdown of this fight. It's going to be interesting to see how he recovers here. Briggs is showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Stay on the outside. Not precise at all by Briggs. A very fan-friendly round, but a headache for the judges. How do you possibly score that round when each man was able to hurt the other? Well, this is where you have to be a good judge. You have to be a professional judge. You have to use the information that's there. Who won the spots of the round before they each hurt each other? And who hurt the other guy a little more? Well done that time, landing the counter punch. The cannon's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fight is in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Doubling up the jab by Briggs. What a big shot. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Briggs is back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Cut. Nice work by Big Train. He is staggered and stumbling. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Excellent hook by Briggs. Nothing there on the punch by Big Train. Oh, he is stunned. He could go solid. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. A 
well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. End of that round. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get him Briggs is stunned by that shot. The cannon's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Briggs' defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. The cannon's showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Big trains like a piece of Velcro against his opponent recently here. It seems like he's clinching more after that knockdown. Yeah, that's exactly what he has to do right now. Now he has to be able to just get past this little bit. It's kind of like being in a bad rapids. You know, you're going down those waterfalls. You better be in a canoe. You better be in something. This is his canoe. This is his raft. On the receiving end of a big and accurate and banging away he goes. How is this going to go on? Once again, he hits the deck. Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The ref stops the fight. Big trains in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Big Train. Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy and tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. One is that obviously his technique was not right, and that came from training camp. But the other is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right. I mean, he came out cold. There was no sweat on him, and he got starched. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.